What's up, everybody? The Red Dragon here, and we are covering the latest news on VGM. Got a story coming out of the tech world that sounds like it would be coming out of a video game or a science fiction movie, sort of like Minority Report. In fact, this almost comes right out of Minority Report. So if you ever saw the movie, then you would maybe remember how there were thought crimes. So if somebody in this world, if they simply thought of a crime, if they thought about things they shouldn't be thinking of, then the police or whoever else would come in and they would take care of them because they were thinking things they shouldn't be thinking about. So what if a system like this were actually created? What would it be used for? So we know our answer, of course, because it's already being developed and it's being worked on. So a company out of Virginia, it's called Veritas Scientific. Veritas meaning uh, in Roman mythology, it was uh, the goddess of truth. Uh, and so anyway, they've developed a system called Handshake. What they say this is, is it's a helmet that you can wear on your head and they produced it because they say the military has been facing a uphill battle when it comes to whenever they go across overseas and they're training different militaries. So they're training different soldiers, soldiers that they don't really know if they're friend or actually foe. And so what happens is a lot of times they're actually training the enemy, which is crazy to me. But anyway, that's another subject for another day. But these people, they don't know whether they're training friendlies or foes. So what if they could actually determine if they're training somebody who's likely to turn around and try to kill them or to try to, you know, sell them out, sell out the information or whatever else uh, that they have on the troops. So what they're saying is that this helmet that they can put on your head and test you, uh, they show a lot of different images and it has basically the same type of functionality is like an MRI machine does, but basically they can read your brain and your reactions faster than you can be consciously aware of what you're thinking or what you're looking at. So they say these things happen at milliseconds, so like they could flash you a scene of an American flag and dependent upon if you had negative thoughts or whatever else, or if you thought of, if you sh were shown a picture of an IED and you were shown also a blueprint of how to uh, assemble it if you were actually looking at the details and trying to remember how you would assemble an IED then that would be something you know that would trigger or whatever else uh, but once you add all the information back up they said it, it looks at like several different things and they claim that between 80 to 95 percent of the time they can tell by reading somebody's brain if they're going to act out on a negative thought so if they have feelings about you know trying to kill soldiers then they claim that this device sometimes up to 95 percent accurate when it comes to pinpointing that stuff out now of course that sounds all well and good and of most uh, technologies whenever they are developed and sold you know it's always sold for the best of intentions but of course there's always other things that can be brought in here as well that you know should be kind of scary for going down this path for reading people's brains because of course who hasn't had a bad thought who hasn't had crazy feelings or or thoughts at one time or another and i'm pretty sure it's safe to say we've all had crazy thoughts and the vast majority of us would never act out on them and it is possible that if you had a system like this go mainstream that you know eventually they may want to start scanning your kids whenever they enter school to know which ones are going to grow up to be troublemakers and then you could have prejudices against those kids who maybe at the time that their brains were scanned kind of showed something you know that to them didn't look right as far as the people who were reading the meters and it may be that these kids would never do anything wrong and if you're worried about it leaving the military and coming into the public forum like I'm just talking about, well, I think it's a legitimate concern because I was just reading about this uh, device and of course it was talked about primarily for the military, but at the end of one article that I was reading about, they did mention how this would also be hugely beneficial to the medical field and how they could take people who were suicidal or who claimed that they were suicidal, they could run them through this machine 
and basically they could determine which people are more likely to act out and to take their own life whenever it comes to suicide. And of course, if they were successful with this, then again, it could go into mainstream and they would be scanning everybody to just find out what in the world you're thinking and if you're a danger with your mind. Uh, so anyway, yeah, if you want to read more about it, links down in the description box. But I thought that was pretty crazy that they've developed a system that uh, they say is a lot more sophisticated than like a lie detector system and that can determine whether or not you could be thinking things you shouldn't be thinking. Post below, let me know what do you think about thought crimes and a machine that can detect them. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.